The UN Security Council will hold a briefing this month on the situation in the Middle East following the escalation of Israeli aggressions against the peoples of the region. Under the motto ending war and securing a lasting peace, the United Kingdom will present a report calling for an end to signing genocide against the citizens of the Gaza Strip and Lebanon. According to the document, the session will provide an opportunity to reflect on how the Security Council can influence the process to bring about an Israeli ceasefire and how this could end the conflict and secure a future based on a two-state solution, one Palestinian, one Israeli. The Ministry of Health of Lebanon issued a report confirming that since the beginning of the Israeli aggression in October 2023, 3,445 people have been killed and 14,599 injured. During the recent attacks, the Zionist Army of Israel destroyed buildings in the southern suburbs of Beirut and other localities such as Ain Kana, Ramadi and Fart Fila. Lebanese authorities also report that in many of these military incursions, the occupation army employed the use of white phosphorus bombs, which are prohibited by international law. The Speaker of the Lebanese Parliament, Nabif Berry, declared that it is unacceptable to discuss any ceasefire proposal that includes any kind of freedom of movement for the Israeli army inside the nation and reaffirmed Lebanon's position that would not allow any violation of national sovereignty.